cryotherapy truly has changed our family's life and has given him life again. A year ago, we were spending, um, planning his funeral and driving around and doing this and getting all of his ducks in a row. And then in February, here we are, he's planning, where are we going on vacation next? So last April of 21, he was diagnosed with stage four esophageal cancer and mainly in the um, a tumor in the esophagus and the cancer we were told it had spread up his lymph nodes and into his right side mainly and then into part of his lung and two of his back bones. I think it was about 11, 12 months ago and um, you know it, it, I remember the endoscopy uh, in fact uh, I, I've reviewed the pictures recently and um, he had a you near know, complete obstruction of his proximal esophagus uh, proximal to uh, mid um, it was hard passing the scope through, so uh, I knew it was going to be a, sort of an uphill challenge. When you have your esophagus um, nearly completely obstructed where he couldn't eat anything besides just liquids, your longevity is pretty limited. So I was, you know, expecting, you know, three months at best if we could do anything. And I thought we would have to mechanically um, palliate him with an esophageal stent. At that time, I lost probably around 25 pounds, 30 pounds. And I've lost just about 60 pounds overall. Before getting cryotherapy, he was gray, ashen, already started losing weight. He was choking on taking Tylenol. Um, he couldn't eat steak. We had to grind his steak and he just had no energy and he was so frustrated and he wasn't go able to get out of the house most days to get dressed was a chore for him. Um, after his second treatment of cryotherapy, I think it gave him hope, a lot of hope. And he, his mental status changed. He started getting his energy back. His color came back. He started being able to eat his meat again without choking and he started the weight loss, weight loss had maintained steady. He wasn't losing any more weight at that time. I believe after the second or third treatment, uh, we started to see the um, uh, esophageal lumen open up. Um, the first one, I can, as I said, I could barely get my scope passed. And then the second one, it was easier. And I, I believe by the third one, I, it, was, it was sort of a no resistance issue. And then uh, by the fourth one, we're just starting to treat residual uh, cancer. So there's very little left. And now at 11 months, there's nothing left, uh, which is pretty amazing. I think the most surprising thing is I, how quickly he responded. You know, I, I thought, uh, frankly, I, I thought he'd be around for three to six months at best. And the fact that the guy has uh, gained his weight back at one year, he's living his normal life. I mean, he's running his restaurant, he's eating normally, he seems very happy, his mood is great. So minimal side effects from it, it's, it was truly changed his life. I mean, to go in in the morning, outpatient surgery, wake up, come home, stop and eat on the way home, no pain, no bleeding, no nothing. I'm back living again, I'm back eating, I'm back traveling, going from one point to another, and seeing my family, being able to attend events, being able to uh, go on down at the farm and get on a tractor and run again. I'm able to get back to my old self. He was in every Friday night again, seeing all of his regulars and shaking their hands and saying hello. And so Harold's Place was Harold's Place again. He was back. Cryotherapy gave me life. It gave me longevity. And I definitely would recommend it to anybody that it's at least got esophageal cancer. And I just wish that uh, some of these other hospitals would, would have been on top and know about this treatment. If it wasn't for cryotherapy, I wouldn't be here now.